Back everyone to the Hello World guys, this is another episode of the better C++ Mario series in which we are creating a more advanced game and in this video we are going to continue our adventure by uh, creating basically a uh, better camera system. So first of all I have already done the code and I am going to give you an overview of it but first of all let me remove any new pieces of code that I have added and let me run uh, the code without anything. So uh, let's go ahead and uh, I actually change the circle as well so let's go ahead and set everything uh, to the beginning like it was in the previous video and let me just show you what uh, the problem is so if I were to just go ahead and run this right now you would uh, probably have noticed this problem before uh, and uh, it's a really obvious problem which is that if uh, the window that we are creating is of a fixed size so as you can see we have got a window of a fixed size if I were to go ahead and uh, resize this window which I can do you can see that the uh, that the circle is squished if I were to make it like this or maximize it you can see that the circle is uh, not looking the best thing in the world you can see that uh, it's uh, like that it's basically a squished circle so in the reason that's happening is because uh, uh, of a lack of a proper camera system so in order to do that I have created a class called camera and this uh, class basically includes the sfml slash graphics dot hpp header and uh, th in this class we have got a bunch of public variables we have got a camera with a float zoom level which is equal to 5 and then we have got a value called get view in which we have got sf colon colon view here and uh, it returns a variable of type sf colon colon view and it's called get view the function and uh, sf colon colon view is basically a data type that's used to handle how the screen displays so the basic viewport of the screen of the window is handled by the view class in sfml and we are going to use that to basically specify what we want to do so we'll do that this takes only one argument which is a sf colon colon vector to u the u here basically means that this is an unsigned integer and uh, since it's an unsigned integer it means it will never be negative since window sizes can't be negative and it won't be floating point because window sizes cannot be like 5.5 uh, or something like that it must be a fixed integer and we also have a member variable called zoom level and in the camera.cpp we expect uh, we can uh, do the constructor like you would normally expect just to initialize zoom level like that and for this function we do a bunch of math here so first of all let's uh, look at, uh, let's just leave this portion ignore this portion for now and let's um, uh, focus on this sf colon colon view line here so this is a sf colon colon view constructor and it basically takes a uh, two variables and there are a bunch of different construction uh, constructors but the one we are using um, there are basically five constructors apart from the two copy constructors and the default constructor we basically got a constructor that takes a float rect a special type to represent it uh, uh, stuff and one that takes a position and a size so the first position is the origin so um, where is the origin of our screen so the center of the window what value is that and we just set it to zero zero the reason we do that is because uh, like in most modern uh, coordinate systems we want the center of the screen to be zero zero instead of having it at the top left corner so we make that zero zero which should work and uh, for the size we do a variable called size and how is this size calculated well first we create a float called aspect and we set it to window size dot x and divided by window size dot y which means and of course we cast this to float with this as well uh, because uh, uh, if we don't then it uh, will not do the rounding correctly and it will probably be all wrong so we cast this to a float and then divide them which means we are basically getting the width uh, to height ratio in the aspect ratio and with this aspect ratio what we do is we create a vector mm, to call the uh, size and uh, we initialize it first of all using a simple initializer syntax it's not necessary since we are doing it later so let's just uh, remove that so after that uh, uh, if I go here you can see that uh, we do a if else statement here so if our aspect is less than one now remember when we are doing this we basically want the specified zoom level of the window to be always visible it should never be invisible therefore if our aspect is less than one all we do is we say that the size uh, is equal to sf colon colon vector 2f you can quite clearly see that and uh, for the x value of the vector 2f we just pass the zoom le uh, ve level without any changes so this means if we have got a zoom level of 5 and uh, the actual height of the window is greater than the width then th we will set this x value to the zoom level which means that the x value will just be exactly at the um, 
you know what we need it to be at the zoom level and the y value will be greater depending on that so that it does not cause any squishing and uh, we divide this by aspect instead of multiplying it because dividing it means that we are essentially taking the reciprocal of the aspect ratio which means instead of the aspect ratio of the width to height it will give us height to width and multiplying that by zone level should give us the correct height and instead of doing uh, all of that we just basically divide it and that does it essentially the same thing it's pretty basic math and if that's not the case then we set the size to another vector 2f but this time we multiply the x by the aspect ratio why we do that because the x is greater so we want it to be as big as it wants to be and uh, we want the y to be at least the zoom level so we do zoom level and for the uh, for the y we just do zoom level and for the x we zoom level multiplied by aspect and that gives us the correct size now what we can do is we can set a uh, size for our circle like 2 uh, the radius will be 2 and we need to remove this position command now since 0 0 is essentially going to be at the center and since it's 2 it will mean the whole diameter of the circle will be 4 which means it will almost cover the whole window and now from the one side of our window to another there will basically be uh, from 0 to 5 the floating values and if I go here I'm going to basically create a uh, as you can see that uh, uh, currently we are not doing anything but uh, what you can do is you can create a camera here so you can say quite easily camera and you can call this camera and I'm going to leave the zoom value at whatever it is by default uh, which we set to 5 and we are going to say camera dot uh, uh, get view which will essentially give us the view and we will say window dot get size here so that uh, should uh, calculate the view correctly but in order to actually make the window use this view we will have to use another function called uh, window.setView so we will say window.setView uh, so yeah that's going to do that trick for us and the reason this is uh, going to work is because now we are going to have the screen at exactly the center with the size of zoom level and basically no other problems at all because uh, it will always uh, have a correct aspect ratio so if you want to test this I'm going to run the program now and what you should see is that our circle now displays correctly regardless of the size of the window and uh, this is a very important thing if you want your 2D game to work correctly uh, it's also a bit necessary for 3D as well so you can see if I do this the circle actually still is the correct size the, but the X increases just like we wanted it to and uh, if I make it like extremely this you can see that the circle is still covering almost the same position on the Y axis but the X is different now compare this to this situation in which I make it like that uh, if I make it uh, basically greater than the y you can see that the y keeps stretching like on a mobile phone screen this is keeping uh, this like area above and below it is blank but the circle is still being displayed correctly and I can maximize it and it will still be displayed uh, just like that it would be mm, you know the top of the screen and the bottom it would be perfect and uh, now our game is not dependent on the size of the window but instead works the way we want it to so with that in the next video we can finally get started writing our renderer class that will allow us to make some cool actual characters and uh, maybe even animations later uh, onto our screen instead of just a yellow circle so stay tuned for that i will see you in the next one make sure to like and subscribe as well and bye